financial freedom. It's not just about having a lot of money. It's about having options, peace of mind, and the ability to live life on your own terms. It's about achieving true financial independence and security. Are you tired of living paycheck to paycheck? Are you ready to take control of your financial future and build a life you love? In this video, I'm going to show you the exact five steps you need to take to achieve financial freedom. The first step to achieving financial freedom is understanding where you stand financially. This foundational step is crucial because it sets the stage for all your future financial decisions and goals. This means taking a close look at your income, expenses, assets, and debts. By doing so, you can identify patterns in your spending and saving habits and understand your financial strengths and weaknesses. Start by tracking your spending for a month. This will give you a clear picture of where your money is going and help you identify areas where you can cut back. Use a budgeting app, a spreadsheet, or even just a notebook. The tool you choose isn't as important as the consistency with which you use it. Regular tracking is key to gaining control over your finances. Categorize your expenses so you can see where your money is going. Common categories include housing, food, transportation, entertainment, and savings. This categorization helps you understand your spending habits and make informed decisions. Next, calculate your net worth. This is a snapshot of your financial health at a given point in time. This is the difference between your assets like your savings and investments and your liabilities like your debts. Knowing your net worth helps you understand your overall financial position. Don't be discouraged if your net worth is negative right now. Many people start their financial journey in debt. The important thing is to recognize it and take steps to improve it. The important thing is to start somewhere. Begin by organizing your financial documents and creating a system that works for you. Once you have a clear picture of your financial situation, you can start setting realistic financial goals. These goals will serve as your roadmap to financial freedom. Do you want to buy a house? Retire early? Travel the world? Your goals should reflect your personal aspirations and values. Write down your goals and make them as specific as possible. Specific goals are easier to track and achieve. For example, instead of saying I want to save more money, set a goal to save $5,000 in the next six months. This gives you a clear target to aim for. Having clear goals will give you something to work towards and help you stay motivated. Celebrate your achievements along the way to keep your momentum going. Remember, financial freedom is a journey, not a destination. It's about making consistent progress and enjoying the benefits of your hard work over time. Stay committed, stay focused, and you'll reach your financial goals. Now that you know where your money is going, it's time to take the next crucial step in your financial journey. Creating a budget that aligns with your financial goals is essential. A budget is not just a restrictive tool, it's a roadmap to help you achieve your dreams and aspirations. A budget is simply a plan for how you will spend your money each month. It helps you allocate your income towards various expenses, savings, and investments. There are many different budgeting methods out there, so find one that works for you. Some people prefer detailed spreadsheets, while others might opt for more straightforward methods. One popular method is the 50-30-20 budget. This method is simple yet effective, making it a favorite among many. This method allocates 50% of your after-tax income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. Needs are essential expenses like housing, food, and transportation. These are the non-negotiable costs that you must cover to maintain your basic standard of living. Wants are non-essential expenses like entertainment, dining out, and travel. These are the things that make life enjoyable but are not necessary for survival. Savings and debt repayment include things like building your emergency fund, investing for retirement, and paying down debt. These are crucial for your long-term financial health. The key to sticking to a budget is to make it realistic and to track your spending regularly. If your budget is too restrictive, you may find it hard to stick to it. There are many budgeting apps that can help you track your spending automatically. These apps can categorize your expenses, set spending limits, and even alert you when you're nearing those limits. Review your budget regularly and make adjustments as needed. Life is unpredictable and your financial situation can change, so it's important to be flexible. Remember, your budget is a living document, so it's okay to make changes as your circumstances change. Whether you get a raise, incur unexpected expenses, or decide to save for a new goal, your budget should reflect these changes. Creating and sticking to a budget is one of the most important steps you can take to achieve financial freedom. It empowers you to take control of your finances, reduce stress, and work towards your financial goals with confidence. By following a budget, you can ensure that you're living within your means, saving for the future, and making informed financial decisions. This discipline will pay off in the long run, helping you build a secure and prosperous future. So take the time to create a budget that works for you and commit to sticking to it. Your future self will thank you for the effort and discipline you put in today. Remember, budgeting is not about limiting your freedom, it's about creating freedom. 
financial freedom to live the life you want without the stress of financial uncertainty. Start today and take control of your financial future. With a well-planned budget, you can achieve your financial goals and enjoy peace of mind knowing that you're on the right path. Build an emergency fund. Life is unpredictable, and unexpected expenses can pop up at any time. That's why it's essential to have an emergency fund. An emergency fund is a stash of cash that you can tap into in case of an unexpected job loss, medical emergency, or car repair. Having an emergency fund can help you avoid going into debt when unexpected expenses arise. Aim to save at least three to six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. This may seem like a lot of money, but you don't have to save it all at once. Start by setting aside a small amount of money each month and gradually increase your savings over time. Keep your emergency fund in a separate high yield savings account so it's easily accessible when you need it. Don't touch your emergency fund for non-emergency expenses. This fund is for true emergencies only. Building an emergency fund is a crucial step in achieving financial freedom because it provides a safety net and peace of mind. Pay off debt. Debt can be a heavy burden, weighing down your financial progress and limiting your ability to achieve your goals. In this chapter, we'll explore effective strategies to help you pay off your debt and regain control of your finances. Debt can be a major obstacle to financial freedom. It can feel overwhelming, but with a clear plan and determination, you can tackle it head on. The first step is to understand the full scope of your debt. If you're carrying a lot of high interest debt, like credit card debt, it's important to make paying it off a top priority. High interest debt can quickly spiral out of control, making it harder to pay down the principal balance. Start by creating a list of all your debts, including the balances, interest rates, and minimum payments. This will give you a clear picture of where you stand and help you prioritize which debts to tackle first. Then, consider using the debt snowball method or the debt avalanche method to pay off your debts strategically. Each method has its own advantages and choosing the right one for you can make a significant difference in your debt repayment journey. The debt snowball method involves paying off your smallest debts first, while making minimum payments on your other debts. This approach can provide a psychological boost by giving you quick wins, which can be incredibly motivating. This method can help you stay motivated by giving you quick wins. Each time you pay off a debt, you gain a sense of accomplishment and momentum that can propel you forward. The debt avalanche method involves paying off your debts with the highest interest rates first, while making minimum payments on your other debts. This method can save you money on interest charges in the long run, making it a more cost-effective strategy. This method can save you money on interest charges in the long run. By focusing on high interest debts, you reduce the overall amount of interest you pay, which can shorten the time it takes to become debt-free. Whichever method you choose, the key is to be consistent with your payments and to stay focused on your goal of becoming debt-free. Consistency is crucial because it ensures that you are steadily chipping away at your debt, even if progress feels slow at times. Consider negotiating with your creditors to see if you can lower your interest rates or work out a payment plan. Many creditors are willing to work with you if you demonstrate a genuine commitment to repaying your debt. Paying off debt can free up more of your income each month, which you can then use to save, invest or achieve other financial goals. Imagine the possibilities when you're no longer burdened by debt payments. You can build an emergency fund, invest in your future or even take that dream vacation you've been putting off. As you pay off your debt it's important to review and adjust your financial goals. Your priorities may shift as you become debt free, and having a clear plan for your newfound financial freedom will help you make the most of it. Using a budgeting app can help you stay on track with your debt repayment plan. These tools can provide valuable insights into your spending habits and help you identify areas where you can cut back and allocate more money towards paying off your debt. Remember, the journey to becoming debt-free is a marathon, not a sprint. Celebrate your milestones along the way and stay committed to your plan. With persistence and discipline, you can achieve financial freedom and enjoy the peace of mind that comes with being debt-free. Once you're debt-free, you can focus on building a secure financial future. Whether it's saving for retirement, investing in your education, or starting a business, the possibilities are endless when you're no longer weighed down by debt. Paying off debt is a challenging but rewarding journey. Stay focused, stay motivated, and remember that every payment brings you one step closer to financial freedom. You have the power to take control of your financial finances and create the future you desire. Invest for the future. Investing is one of the most powerful ways to build wealth and achieve financial freedom. When you invest, you're essentially putting your money to work for you, allowing it to grow over time. Start by educating yourself about different investment options, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate. Consider your risk tolerance, time horizon, and financial goals when choosing your investments. 
If you're not comfortable managing your own investments, consider working with a financial advisor. One of the easiest and most effective ways to invest is to contribute to a retirement account, such as a 401k or IRA. These accounts offer tax advantages and can help you build a comfortable retirement nest egg. Another option is to invest in low-cost index funds, which track a specific market index, such as the S&P 500. Index funds are a great way to diversify your portfolio and reduce risk. The key to successful investing is to start early, be consistent, and stay disciplined. Remember, investing is a long-term game so don't panic sell when the market fluctuates. Your journey to financial freedom. Congratulations! You now have a roadmap to financial freedom. Remember, financial freedom is a journey, not a destination. There will be challenges and setbacks along the way but don't give up. Stay focused on your goals, be patient, and celebrate your progress along the way. Which step will you start with today?